Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Tyson Fury. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, the reason I'm in a great mood is because boxing is just phenomenal. Like, we had Joshua Klitschko, I just rewatched it. Great fight. Joshua, he earned some stripes with that particular performance. We can no longer say Joshua ain't fought nobody or he fought Charles Martin or Dominique Brazil, Eric Molina, guys with losses. We can't say that. He went in with the legend. And not only did he go in with the legend, to me, he went in there with the best version of that legend. Klitschko literally looked to be in phenomenal shape for starters, and he definitely was there to fight. He didn't do some of the tactics he's done with other guys who were a little bit bigger than him, where like he kind of, when he fought Tyson Fury, I thought he kind of sold out and, and didn't go for broke, didn't make adjustments, but he, he had a good game plan. You could argue that the fight was really close and, and it was just a great performance from both. So shout out to both Warriors. And another reason I'm happy is the heavyweight division is on and cracking motherfucker. And it's popping. And the thing that excites me is because growing up watching boxing, the heavyweight division was really the staple division. You could almost ensure a knockout. There was great personalities like Mike Tyson. I'm a I'm a eat his kids. I I I hate Lennox. He he's no conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. I'm going to eat his kids. I'm going to scramble eggs. I'm going to eat bacon. I don't eat bacon. I forgot. I'm, I'm Muslim. I don't I don't eat it. But you guys get what I'm saying. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pour a glass of orange juice. Like, you know what I mean? There's just too many personalities. Even Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis was a bit tamer, a bit calmer than, than Mike Tyson. But he, he wasn't no punk either. You know what I mean? Watch the Hassan, Hassan Rockman fight and the buildup they just destroy the espn studio fighting each other and stuff so just a lot of great personalities muhammad ali obviously i shook up the world this man's ugly <laughs> you know what i mean so i'm glad that we're getting back and we're gaining some traction in the heavyweight division now another character is tyson fury this dude is he's funny but he has to get it together like he posted this Chilling after training with Billy Joe Saunders with the boys. And <laughs> this dude's crazy. No chill. Nice glass of white wine after a hard sesh. LOL. And he's drinking wine. I mean, wine is wine. I'm not, I mean, but you're, Tyson Fury should be trying to lose weight. You know what I mean? And sometimes alcohol in general has a lot of sugars and stuff like that. But you guys seen the title of the video. You clicked on the video. Make sure you guys subscribe. And aside from this glass of wine and this crazy look, this is what Tyson Fury put. Eddie Hearn, Sky Sports Boxing. Whenever you want that weightlifting punk spank, let me know. I'm not 41. And he did the fist, number one. So I got to see it. I like it, man. I like, I like what Tyson Fury's doing. He doesn't let up. He went through that situation where he tested positive and life was... He was living life on the edge, all that. But he, he's definitely great for the division. And this is another big British fight. He, he's right. He's not 41. Joshua called him out post-fight. He's seen he just put this. I respect anyone that steps into the ring. Hashtag AJ Boxing. So this could be a good fight brewing. Me personally, this is my own personal opinion. Take it for what it's worth. After that fight, great coming-of-age performance for Anthony Joshua. He battled adversity. Klitschko wasn't there to be walked over. He wasn't a doormat. He really was scrapping. And after that performance, my top pick for Andy Joshua is Deontay Wilder. Personality-wise, size-wise, stylistically, power versus power, that's the fight I want to see. And I just like that fight the most. That's the heavyweight fight that they should build. But in my honest opinion, I don't think Team Joshua or Joshua wants that fight right away. I really don't. Because Joshua called out Tyson Fury post-fight. He said, oh, uh, Tyson Fury's been talking a lot about me, this and that, and the third. And he's like, where you at, Tyson Fury? I don't even think Tyson Fury was in attendance at Wembley. Meanwhile, I made a video about it. Deontay Wilder was in attendance. 
he's previously called you out as well and I made videos about that you guys can check on the title and he was in the building he was at ringside I think working with Sky Sports There's, you see him right here doing this bomb squad stuff right and even after that after the fight he said everything is going as planned I see you Andy Joshua don't get too comfortable hashtag I'm coming for you even Max Kellerman because when I, I watched it initially on Showtime in real time and then when I just rewatched it I recorded the later HBO telecast and Max Kellerman even said I was hoping you would call out Deontay Wilder but to each his own or something to that effect so to me I don't think Anthony Joshua wants to fight Deontay Wilder right away straight away I think maybe when he knows the threat level of Joshua or of Wilder and maybe they want to build up to that so I mean after a tough fight with Klitschko that's fair. I would definitely settle for a Tyson Fury fight. That's still a big fight, still a good fight. He might even make more money just because they're both from the UK, even though you could say Tyson Fury is a gypsy or whatnot. And sometimes the gypsy, from what I hear, that demographic doesn't always get respect in the UK, but people know who he is and they're both, they're both British. So it is what it is. And that would make a lot of money domestically. But Andy Joshua could scrap. He now has two belts, not just one. He became two-time. And I, don't, I really want to see who he fights next. That's, that's going to be very interesting. But let me know what you guys think. Tyson Fury said he will spank that weightlifter. And it's funny, Tyson Fury always references, every time he talks about Joshua, he always references his muscles. And he always references like um, him being buff. Like, just kind of like he's a meathead. Tyson Fury, on the other hand, can box. You see him with his hands low, and he moves well for a big man. Pause. So, it would be an interesting fight. Joshua needs to work on that stamina, because in that fifth, sixth, even seventh round, he I just watched it again. He looked kind of dead. He looked dry. And he admits post-fight that he was extremely tired. And, I mean, anyone with eyes, Stevie Wonder could see that he was tired. Ribbon in the sky for all love. Do, 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 do. Like anyone can see he was tired, right? And Tyson Fury, when he's in shape, you don't want to get tired with him too because he can outbox. He's, a, he's just a big guy and you don't want to just take shots. And like you said, he's not 41 years old. So I like Tyson Fury doing all the call outs. But flip side of the coin, you call in Andy Joshua, muscle bound, meathead, and um, lift, and all these words or whatever. But at the end of the day, he's in, in shape and you're not. So I think Tyson Fury just needs to come back correct. Get back into fighting shape because this is not cutting this whole Tony Soprano. Hey, Vinny, you're a new character every time I see you. Like this, Paisan, hey, Guido. Like you look like an Italian mob boss. So that, to me, that's not going to work. You know what I mean? Because Joshua, he's hitting too hard. You want to be in the best shape. So I, I, I like the call outs and calling him a poor man, Frank Bruno and this and that but we got to see some pounds shed off of tyson fury for people to really take him serious other than that he's he's kind of like trolling the game and um on the sidelines talking about people who are active that's just my thoughts again wilder joshua is the fight to be had that's the, the one i personally ego want to see but I, I definitely wouldn't be mad at a tyson fury fight and again tyson fury hasn't lost in the ring so could be a good one let me know what you guys think what's next tyson fury says he will spank eddie hearns fighter andy joshua drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you share the video like the video as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off